It's Good Word Brewing Company in Duluth, Georgia. I'm on an AV road trip and I'm meeting the folks from Baker Audiovisual, specifically Jarrett Jones, their director of engineering. We're going to sit down and talk a little bit about his AV life, as well as have some food, have some beer. It's technologists in bars talking AV. All right, everybody, hello, and welcome to Technologists in Bars Talking AV. I'm on a road show. I'm in Atlanta, so you're gonna see most of these from California, but I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and when you're in Atlanta, you call the people from Baker Audio Video. So I have Jarrett Jones. Jarrett Jones, wave Jarrett. Hey, how you hey doing? there you go. <laughs> uh, we got Jarrett Jones, and uh, what's your role at Baker? I'm the engineering director on the commercial side. Okay, so director of commercial engineering, for yeah, Baker, so, so anything corporate, uh, auditoriums, boardrooms, uh, conference rooms, meeting rooms, anything of that nature. Yeah, hotels, just all that, just all yeah. that easy stuff. How did you get into um, how did you get into AV? Well, I uh, I got my first car when I was thirteen. I put a sound system in it. I put <laughs> another sound system in it. Yep. Changed it out ten more times. Started doing other people's sound systems. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when I got to high school, I got into uh, Basically, it's almost like a studio production type thing through Channel One uh -huh. uh, TV program. We had a video toaster. We had uh, recording decks and stuff. We edit. We do like a little feature and then a little bit of live news and stuff like that. And oh, that's I cool. got behind the camera and you know met a lot of people and stuff like that. I was never the talent, so that's why I'm nervous. <laughs> you know, doing no, this, man, this is just this is just us hanging out. You yeah. just ignore that. Over I was there. The, I was the guy micing the talent. Yeah, you were micing the talent, doing stuff like that. Yeah. Um, most people kind of get into it through church or something like that. But yeah. fast forward, I went to um, college and I was doing electrical engineering and RF because I always like to take things apart and stuff like that. Yep. Uh, never put it back together, so <laughs> learned how to do that. That's the harder part, by the way. Yeah. The take it, I took stuff apart all the time. But I, I, just, I was never any good at putting it back together was a problem. The funny thing out of college is I was minoring in RF and thought I was going to get into this thing called cell phones. You know, that was kind of... Is that a thing now? It was, you know... <laughs> I just wanted cell phones? I don't know. I, mean, I, I think you, you dodged a bullet. Those will never take off. Uh-oh, you see what's happening oh, here. Oh, no. <laughs> you see what that is? Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. So, they said these were good. We're in the South, yep. and part of this is we eat stuff. Fried, fried stuff. In the South, you have to eat fried stuff. Now these, those are like fried, fried corn fritters, and they've got cheese, and looks like some kind of maybe grits on the bottom or something, right? Some kind of sauce or... It's gotta be grits. Gotta be grits, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, dude, I'm going in with you. <laughs> I'm in. That's good. Oh my goodness. Oh, that <laughs> was like steaming, yummy, delicious, creamy corn goodness. So you can listen to some, some eating music while we eat for a minute here. <laughs> Those are good, right? Yeah, very good. Well, that's good. It's not spicy. I didn't get you a spicy stuff. There's a little pop in it. Oh, I took some heartburn medicine. Oh, did you? <laughs> you took some heartburn yeah. medicine. I wasn't sure what I was getting into. See, Jarrett saw the first show with Joe, mm -hmm. and he he actually took heartburn medicine before we got here just in case. That's awesome. I love that. That's I do, great, man. I did my research. I'm an engineer. If you were thinking about you when you were a kid in high school and stuff, and I mean, you obviously had an affinity for this. You were working at a TV station. You were doing your own car stereos. You love. You were doing audio and video. Like, if you were going to design some type of outreach or something like that, what do you, where do you think we, where do you think we can get the next talent? Do you think we go to colleges and tap into those? Do you think we go to Reddit boards you, and home theater enthusiast groups? I think groups you actually start at the high school level. High school. Yeah, you have to get it into the vocational program there. Yeah. Um, I was blessed that we had that type of equipment. I don't think most high school, especially, I graduated in 96, so. Okay, I'll go ahead and show I was 95, age. you and me, so are, we're, we're right there. In 19, <laughs> you get the, um, the enthusiasm, um, yeah. and then you show that it's actually a career path. I was set on electrical engineering since I was probably middle school. How'd you, how'd you, how'd you know that? 
Just because you were taking things apart, or I'm just new? I mean, I put, I did eventually put something back together. <laughs> <laughs> I did simplify that a little bit, but I did figure out how to do something. But you know, there's a learning process. You have to fail a little bit to succeed. You know. Yeah, I, I think that's I think that's a hundred percent true, and I think I mean the the people who seem to be valuable as people who are you know um, time tested project managers, engineers, and people who can troubleshoot in the fail in the field are people that have had those hiccups. Yeah, right. I mean, if you've never failed, you're you're gonna have a hard time later on in life. Yeah, for sure, right. <laughs> I've got every engineer signed up or already in CTS, CTSI or CTSD. Yep. Uh, very important. CTSD, CTSI. Yep. Oh, oh. Do I, have, do, do I have both? I think I have both. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Well, oh, so you're a D. I'm a D. See, I'll put that. Yeah. I'll put. It's going to be on his lower third. Actually, right here, <laughs> his lower third is going to reappear as we as we talk right now. That's awesome. CTSD. Did you take the D when it was um, hard? The, yeah. <laughs> thanks. Dude, it was hard. Yeah, thanks for that. So did you do the system design and all that kind of stuff as I part did. of your knee? My handwriting started going diagonal as the day went on. Yeah. I started out neat, legible, and then uh, as I started doing some of the formulas and drawings, it was... Yeah. So this was before it was multiple choice at a person right, education before. center. You were designing a system yeah, as part of your Yeah, 12-hour test, start to finish. Yeah. That's the rough, man. The instructor said, uh, I got lucky. we're serving food at lunch if you... Have feel time. like you have time. <laughs> yes. I brought my wanna, sandwich or whatever. You, know, you could eat if you want to yeah. risk failing, you know. Yeah. You said you've been in the industry almost 19 years in AV, right? right? And me being in 16 years. So for folks like us who aren't new and aren't going to take a class at college or be in an outreach program at high school, um, what's the one, if you had to pick one skill set you need to learn in the next two years, what, what do you focus on? I always lean on audio. Um, video, it's, it's either there, it's not to me. I okay. oversimplified and probably made a bunch of broadcast engineers very angry. Yeah, sure. Um, I do feel like I could learn video, um, but I always feel like audio is the most important because you can show a picture of what we're doing right now, but mm -hmm. without the audio, uh, which by the way, we ignored that train that was just passing by. It was very loud. It was very loud. Um, so if the intelligibility of the audio goes away, mm -hmm. um, we're just two people eating and drinking and looking at each other. So audio is very important to get the message out. Same thing in houses of worship, same thing in education. Oh, yeah. Uh, I could show a PowerPoint on a screen, but if the kids can't hear the instructor talking about it, then What's the message the point? is lost. Yeah. So audio is always where I go. The acoustics is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of trend toward this hard surfaces and stuff on the corporate side. Um, yeah. We, we have an education thing. To, you mean gla um, glass walls and, and tile floors aren't the best acoustic yep. dampeners? They're not? So we polished our, <laughs> we, we ripped up our carpet, polished the concrete, put up some glass walls, and then put a glass table in our boardroom just so we could show what it sounds like. Just a mess? Uh-oh, yeah. look at this guy. He's proactively. <laughs> thank you. He's proactively you bringing us. Thank you so much. That's Rocksteady or English Mild. Rock, English Malt? English Mild. English Mild. Yeah, yeah, Rocksteady, rock <laughs> English Mild. And we had, a, we had a cast brewed vanilla coffee stout that was amazing. That was awesome. So we got to see what this one is. Yep. So we did it on purpose and we, we drop a shade down just to show the effect of just a little bit of treatment in the room wow mates on it so. how are you showing that just by ear just to show yeah, people by just ear listen. Yeah. yeah all right i'm going into this i'm going into this english malt was it any good very light is it light yeah okay. very delicious english. but i'm i'm cheers. used to california everything everything they want to serve you in california is a west coast ipa so I love that we came here, and on a rainy day, they gave us like a malt, they gave us a stout. Well, stout's my go-to, but usually it's a little bit too strong to start out with. Yeah, you kind of, <laughs> that's kind of the nightcap drink, right? Yeah. This is like, hey, I'm ready to go home. Yeah. I'm going to call an Uber. I'm yeah. going to drink. I'm, I'm going to drink, drink some coffee syrup that's infused with alcohol, yeah. and I'm going to go to bed, right? And hopefully, yeah, that's hopefully I wake done. up on time yeah. in the morning. This one's, this is a mild? Yep. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it is very good. I've been doing a lot of IPAs, a lot of lagers, and um, a lot of stouts and porters. So some of the heavy stuff. Yeah, I love porters. I love stouts because I love coffee in general, and I love vanilla. Yeah. And 
Um, we have some in California. I got to get to one of these that do the um, the bourbon barrel. I've aged got Blanton's beers. coffee. You okay. heard Blanton hmm. bourbon. Um, okay. So it's bourbon flavored coffee. Oh, that's awesome. And grind it up fresh. Oh, I like that. Yep. Yeah, that's great. That's. That's Southern Comfort right there. Uh -huh. Bourbon flavored coffee in the morning. I I've also got my own little bourbon barrel at the house where I pour my own bourbon in the oak cask and Oh really? And, and just let it kind of age in there? Yeah. Wow. Yep. Dude, you're in. Yep. You're all in. Uh -huh. I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> See, my grandma was from like Whitwell, which is over by Chattanooga. So most of the stuff they made was in the bathtub. So <laughs> no bourbon barrels over there. Just just a nice taste of, um, of Kohler porcelain infused into yeah. the moonshine and you know <laughs>
he was the smartest person in the world and he was humble he shared everything he knew um, all that stuff gets handed down and that's what i'm doing with the knowledge i have is i go out with my engineers and stuff and i teach them what i did when i was doing their role but i learn stuff with them because they're now doing some things different that wasn't around when I was doing their stuff. The concepts are the same. Yeah. The end results are the same. Um, I just use my laptop a little bit more than yeah, I used to. Yeah, sure. You know, a lot of times it seems like we try to we try to hang on or guard some of this knowledge that we have thinking that that's what protects our, our position and our job. And it sounds like you guys are real. <laughs> that would be really bad for me. Cause, yeah. Because uh, I'm a perfectionist and I expect perfection out of everybody that works for me. So. Yeah. That wouldn't work for me. Yeah, so you need to... You they need do to, a good job. I, I feel like I've done a good job, so I don't... Well, that's great. Yeah. And I, I love the two, the thing you said, too, because a, a lot of this is going around that that leader-leader mindset. That yeah. just because you have the experience doesn't mean that you're not open to listening to the guy who perhaps knows something a little yeah. different than you do. And uh, a lot of people yeah. aren't open to that. I'm worried that I am who I was talking about when I started the industry. So, so your fear is becoming you know, the, the old closed off my way or the right. highway guy? Is no, that, you're afraid that. of that? I'm not afraid, just aware of it. I get manufacturers all the time saying, let me come over and help, help you set it up. And I'm like, no, stay away. Give me a box. Throw the instructions away. I want to see how it's going to work. Throw the, you know. the instructions away thing is funny because I worked at an <laughs> integration firm where, honestly, my boss always said, he goes, this is my test for somebody I'm looking to hire for a technician. <laughs> I hand him a piece of gear he's never seen before in the box, and if the instruction manual goes over the left shoulder, he's hired. <laughs> <laughs> that could be dangerous too. Though. <laughs> All right, guys, so this has been Technologists in Bars talking AV. Thanks so much to Jared. Thank you. Jared, Appreciate nice it. to meet you in person, man. Same here. Um, um, when I get back here, we're going to do this. We don't have to do it on camera, but maybe we'll do, maybe we we'll do, do corn fritters and beer again. Yep. Yeah. Awesome, maybe man. some chicken livers or. I'll, I'll eat the chicken yeah. livers. Okay. If you see, we should have tried them on. You <laughs> said you never. I missed opportunity, but that's I okay. I think it was. There we go. <laughs> hey, but thanks for joining us, guys, and we'll see you next time. I think you might know of a couple of stadiums that we did in town. Yeah, well, I looked yeah. at the website. It seemed, yeah. it seemed like they're, if you're going to, you know, maybe a big game it or might someplace be a, like that, a big, there might be a big event in a couple. Yeah, there might be yeah, a, a big weeks, a big yeah. game or a big event in a couple of weeks <laughs> where the Baker audio system will be used on a, you know, national stage. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. That's awesome, man. I think it'll get some exposure. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I just heard something. Well, you know, well at least at least everybody will know to boo when the name Tom Brady comes over because they'll be able to hear it properly. Right? Yes, sir. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. See? Thank you. You're welcome, Patriots. I'm not. Um, I'm not going down that road. <laughs> you're, not, you're not touching it. <laughs>